To draw the Lewis structure for BaO, barium oxide, we'll write barium and then put oxygen next to it. Barium, that's a metal, and then oxygen, that's a nonmetal. So we have an ionic compound. In ionic compounds, valence electrons are transferred from the metal to the nonmetal. So when we look on the periodic table, we can see that barium has two valence electrons. It's in group two on the periodic table, and those elements, they have two valence electrons. Oxygen is in group 16, sometimes called 6A. It has six valence electrons. So we said when we have an ionic compound, the metal will transfer electrons to the nonmetal. So the barium transfers this electron here, and then we have this other one go over here, forming another pair. By transferring those two valence electrons, oxygen now has eight valence electrons, an octet, which is very stable. The barium, it lost two valence electrons, and electrons are negative. So since it lost two negative charges, it now has a two plus charge. The oxygen, it gained those two negative charges. It has a two minus charge. So we need to put brackets around the oxygen. And you'll often see brackets placed around the metal. We put these brackets here to show that the electrons were transferred from the barium to the oxygen. The barium lost them and the oxygen gained them and that they're not being shared like in a covalent bond. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for BAO, barium oxide. Thanks for watching.